What's going on, Click Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another video that you feel me. All right, we're going to check out racist commercials that actually aired on live TV. Oh. Now, we, uh, you know, television, it's not what it used to be. If you guys grew up in like 80s and the 90s, even like probably early 2000s, you would see some wild stuff on commercials, Probably on TV it. shows. Like, you would see a lot of wild stuff. Stuff that if they were to post today, people would be trying to cancel the company legitimately. Mm -hmm. It was a different time. So we're going to check out some of these commercials that uh, obviously, I'm sure, <laughs> if it was played today, it would be like, hey, yo, what the fuck? You see one up there, right? Oh, no. Boys. Oh, no, the boys. Oh no! <laughs> Boy, they up there, bro. Oh no! Hey, nah, Ooh. it's all we love you, Coke, bro. Coke is the yeah, great. Let me check out the stream. Make sure everything cool. My oh, lights are no. good. <laughs> the Coke. My lights is good. I'm cool. Lighting it straight. Mm-hmm. Coke boys is back. If you don't know, if y'all don't know about the Coke boys, go check out some of our recent, uh, later, earlier videos where we talked about. Coke boys, man. I'm gonna leave that at it is yeah, because keep bringing it up, bro. Yeah, all right. Yeah, nah, bro. All right, let's uh, <clears throat> let's focus in, man. We don't want no candy, smoke. man. We don't want, we don't want no smoke. Commercial can help attract an audience and encourage them to continue interacting with the ad, so they can possibly buy the product that's being advertised. In order to do so, companies typically want you to relate to the ad or hop on an agenda, so they can appeal to a wider audience. Uh -huh. However, some commercials have backfired by accidentally promoting racism. Some are intentional, while some could be accidental. But I'll let you decide. In today's video, we talk about racist commercials that actually aired on live TV. Mm. Welcome back to another video. This is the second video of 2024 but this is actually the first video that i'm recording in 2024 so hopefully we take over 2024 and all i'm asking for you guys is to watch the video till the very end and like the video if you guys want to go check out my other social medias if you guys like and let's get straight into this video we got to celebrate our differences 2005 I can't play you guys the full commercial because it's that bad and it is Damn. a very racist commercial, but I bet you've seen this commercial in the past online. We Got to Celebrate Our Differences refers to a parody anti-racism PSA known for its inclusion of numerous racist jokes. Originally aired on MTV's Wonder Chosen in 2005, this animated satire gained widespread online attention in the following years, especially for its use in shocking reaction videos. Despite its comedic nature, it is occasionally mistaken for a genuine anti-racism PSA and is cited as an example of content that might be considered unacceptable on television today. On April 8th, 2005, during the fifth episode of Wonder Chosen's first season, a sketch comedy series on MTV, this animated parody of an anti-racism PSA was featured. This parody includes racially stereotypical jokes about Asians, Africans, and Mexicans. Uh -oh. Set oh, to wow. a song with the lyrics, we've got to celebrate oh, our differences. Man. A YouTube upload on April 4th, 2020 gained over 6.8 million views in a year, although it was later removed from YouTube and re-uploaded. I could of course show you guys oh. the commercial, but without audio because that commercial is just Ew. that racist. The commercial starts off with a kid in a red shirt, uh -oh. singing that we have to celebrate our differences here we and go it transitions to asians singing the song but instead they sing the lyrics from whoa vicky's rice gum diss track after that it goes to african americans but instead of singing the song they say stereotypical tribal grunts finally it goes to mexicans where they say oh. nacho taco chimichangas adding the commercial with the white kid saying that it is beautiful that we celebrate our differences. Once again, this isn't your typical wow. real commercial since it was made by a sketch comedy, but it actually aired on MTV back in 2005. Racist McDonald's commercial. Uh -oh. This one's a very interesting one because it went over my head. On June 10th, 2013, McDonald's released a commercial promoting 20 McNuggets for $4.99. <laughs> Which was such an amazing deal back in the day. Because <laughs> now a 10 piece right, McNugget no. cost $5.76. But that's besides the point. In the commercial, you see a and man a take his significant other to McDonald's and generously suggest that she gets whatever she wants. I remember what? this damn commercial, bro. Of course, these niggas was black. Yeah, bro. Of course. I remember this commercial, though, fam. <laughs> uh... Oh, man. 
Hey, baby, you going to McDonald's? You can get whatever you want on me, head ass. You don't boy, if you because you broke. And you can tell her to get the 20 piece. The 20 piece for 499. Dog. <laughs> when she decides she just wants to share yeah, a 20 piece McNugget order the, for only 499, right? he gets caught up in how beautiful, smart, and I think she is. Yeah. I think she, I think that may be her. I think that is the actress, right? That uh, played in the Marvels. I'm just waiting. And generously suggests that she gets whatever she wants. When she decides she just wants to share a 20 piece McNugget order, for only $4.99, he gets caught up in how beautiful, smart, and sensible she is and almost can't complete the order. The commercial then ends with the girlfriend saying that she got tickets to a basketball game and the commercial just ends. Well, just They're ran. going to a basketball game, bro. You can afford to go to a basketball game, but y'all got a split of $4.99 McChicken Nuggets? Huh? Bro, you gonna pay more just to park at the game, bro. Oh, right. I, I remember. Just this had to throw that damn I stereotype this in there. Now. It's the, it's the, it's the fucking basketball tickets that got me, bro. I remember. That. First time I watched this commercial, I was confused because I saw this commercial in a racist commercial compilation, and the reupload itself is titled "Racist McDonald's Commercial." But what's Go racist about it? At first, I thought it was because a girlfriend got basketball tickets, <laughs> and there's a stereotype saying that black people like basketball. Which, for the record, basketball is a mainstream sport enjoyed by many ethnicities and races. So claiming yeah. that this commercial is racist for mentioning basketball isn't really a valid argument. But then I looked at the comments, and they were commenting many similar things such as at first i was like there's nothing racist about it then i played it back and realized i started dying when i played it back ain't no way at first i was like how is this racist and then i replayed the video and i heard it i'm not gonna play every commercial that i talk about in this video but for this one i'm going to play you the whole thing all right, let's and see i want to know it. if you guys can catch the racist oh. part in the commercial oh, no. because right, it took on. me a good while to find the racist part in the commercial Help out, yeah. welcome to mcdonald's may i take your order do whatever you want baby let's just share a 20 piece 20 mcnuggets for only 4.99 oh man she's beautiful smart and sensible jackpot anything else uh, get next to mcdonald's crispy juicy chicken mcnuggets so you get the taste you love at a price you'll love even more guess who's going to the game thank you there's always more to love at mcdonald's i bet you guys did not catch it I ain't well it. on the zero minute and zero second timestamp, you hear someone behind the camera say the n-word i'll replay it for you a few Wait, times hell no niggas, 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 niggas. yep that was <laughs> oh, wait, what? wait a minute bro hell no hell to the no nah, bro there's no way that production allowed that to be on a nationally televised commercial, fam. It's cold, bro. What? That's fucking cold, bro. <laughs> fucking McDonald's. That's cold. The N-word. Once I finally heard it, I quickly tried to find other re-uploads of the commercial just in case if the re-uploader added that in to spread misinformation. But no, the other re-uploads of this commercial had the N-word in the background. McDonald's haven't said anything about the commercial and honestly, we don't know if the commercial actually said it. It could be one of those instances of the power of suggestion, such as Yanny and Laurel. We hear an unfamiliar word and our minds fill in the blanks. But that's just a theory a morbid theory but what do you guys think you know, you did they know. actually Correct. say the word or no felicia the goat mountain dew commercial in 2013 oh, yeah. mountain dew <laughs> unveiled a series of commercials directed by tyler the creator yeah. featuring a character named felicia the goat the trio of ads depicted felicia in various situations including causing a commotion at a restaurant by assaulting a waitress getting pulled over by the police and receiving a do you why and appearing in a police lineup the initial the two commercials were generally well received, despite the edgy shock value present in Felicia's violent encounters with 
a waitress. Shocking content was more widely accepted in mainstream media during this time, so people were more forgiving. However, controversy erupted after the third commercial aired, with some labeling it as one of the most racist commercials of all Duh. time. Let's in the continuous about, wow. third ad, the assaulted waitress is seen Straight choosing black. someone from a police lineup that includes Felicia the Goat and African Americans dressed up in stereotypical thug clothing. Felicia taunts the distressed waitress, claiming that she'll never catch him. Another racially charged element is the officer holding a Mountain Dew, instructing the waitress to simply pick someone already, suggesting that she points to the man with the do-rag who wasn't the actual perpetrator. Duh. Addressing the controversy surrounding the third Oops. ad, Mountain Dew all issued right. an apology on Twitter, acknowledging their mistake and removing the offensive video from all channels, hashtag concluding with a fail. somewhat sarcastic hashtag, <laughs> fail. Keep in mind that the media called this commercial racist. But is the commercial really racist? After all, it was directed by Tyler the Creator, who is black. Unless he's on his Uncle Ruckus arc. Just kidding. But Tyler's manager did address the police lineup, stating that all those men in the commercials are real life friends of Tyler. So Tyler just thought it would have been cool to see his friends in the commercial that he directed. And it's not an attack on yeah. African Americans. But what do you guys think? Kool Aid in Japan, 1960. Oh, in 1960, no. Kool Aid made a commercial. In all right, Japan. No, this in, yeah, yeah. all right, let's see where this right, goes. No, this gonna be show where two here. boys are in Japan called the Kool Aid Kids. They sat down to eat, but they wish to have their favorite drink. Then a Japanese man overhears the boys and brings them Kool Aid. Keep in mind that the Japanese man has a thick, stereotypical accent, and when he pulls out the Kool Aid, the Kool Aid pitcher has stereotypical Asian eyes. The commercial then shows a Japanese family enjoying Kool Aid, and after that, the two boys then leave to explore new land. Clearly, this commercial is racist, wow. but you have to. I didn't even know, boys. I didn't know they did. Fucking with Kool Aid over there like that. What? What? The, not the Kool Aid man with the eyes. What? Man. Hey, man. We we all having a good time, bro. I can say this seems wrong. Right, dog. Remember that this commercial from 1960, and sadly so. back then. It was just normal to see these type of commercials and advertising yeah. back in the day. Not gonna lie, it is pretty cool to see how much society has improved since the 60s when yeah. you look at older advertising. Racist laundry detergent ad. In 2016, a Chinese laundry detergent company called Kiaobi made a racist commercial where you see a black man whistle oh. at a Chinese woman. Yeah, so the woman then tells the man yeah. to come over, where she then shoves a detergent pod into his mouth and shoves him down the washing machine. And I'll just play you guys the remaining of the commercial. Bro, that nigga had Nikes or Jordans on. That was so effed up, bro. Like. That was <laughs> yeah, I guess you can call the man whitewashed, or Chinese washed in this case. The commercial only aired in China, and even played in Chinese movie theaters. But there was no backlash until a month later, when people started to report the commercial globally. Once the backlash started, the owner of the laundry detergent spoke out saying, I don't know much about the advertisement, he said, and he did not realize it was racist until it was pointed out to him. To be honest, I didn't really pay that much attention to the advertisement, he said. Hey, I have no on, idea how he didn't think this commercial was racist in the first place, but bro, dude, this is one movie. of the most extreme commercials that we cover in this you video, but we also got some other bad ones as well. Heineken sometimes lighter is better ad. In March 2018, Heineken decided to withdraw a series of light beer commercials featuring the tagline, sometimes lighter is better. After facing accusations of racism, Bro, particularly in one of the ads, wrong. the controversy ah, erupted. Ah. <laughs> Duh. Nigga went from fried chicken to fried rice. <laughs> or dog. Come on, let's, come on, let's keep going. Oh man, fuck oh boy, bro. <laughs> That's <cold. laughs> Y'all ain't here with dubs and y'all talking about I ain't say nothing, bro. Play the rest of the
Rose, when a vigilant bartender notices a Big woman laugh. looking disappointed at a wine glass, swiftly open a beer bottle and slides it down the bar. The bottle passes by two black women and a black man before reaching the wine glass. The phrase, sometimes lighter is better, appears on screen as the woman, with lighter skin, That's inspects cold. the bottle. Heineken responded to the criticism, acknowledging that they had missed the mark, and expressed a commitment to take feedback seriously for future campaigns. This incident <laughs> adds Heineken to the list of companies facing backlash for marketing perceived to favor fair complexions. Yeah, no. Notably, musician Chance the Rapper criticized this ad as terribly racist, suggesting that some companies intentionally release controversial ads for increased attention. Heineken, in its response, highlighted its positive track record for promoting unity through marketing. The company had received a claim the previous yeah. year for an advertisement titled Worlds Apart, featuring strangers with opposing views working through differences as they built furniture and shared a beer. But after receiving praise from a commercial that brings people together, Heineken decided to throw away that reputation and make a very racist commercial. El Frito Bandito Frito Commercials uh -oh. The Frito Bandito was a mascot used by Frito, Frito Lay in the Bandito. 1960s and early 1970s to promote to its Frito was... corn chips. Wow. The county was depicted as a Mexican bandit with stereotypical features, oh, including baby. a sombrero and mustache. The Frito oh. Bandito was voiced by actor Mel Blanc and appeared in animated television commercials. The character became controversial due to its stereotypical portrayal, yeah. and there were accusations of promoting negative stereotypes of Mexican people. As a result of the criticism and changing societal attitudes, Frito Lay eventually retired the Frito Bandito character in the early 1970s. The company has since evolved its marketing strategies to avoid perpetuating stereotypes and to be more culturally sensitive. As a Mexican myself, I think this mascot is pretty cool. Stereotypical, sure, but I like them. Clearly, I cannot speak for Frito. everyone, but I'd say that a majority Frito. of Mexicans Frito. like stereotypical characters. Like myself, look at Speedy Gonzalez, for example. Yeah. He's a very stereotypical Mexican character Speedy. created by a white man loved by millions of Mexicans. And yet, white people try to cancel him for some reason. I mean, we all love Speedy. You can't cancel my guy. Funny Face Drink from Pillsbury. Funny Face was a powdered drink mix brand originally manufactured ah, and sold by the Pillsbury Company from 1964 to 1994, Six with seven. limited productions continuing in certain US regions until 2001. It was introduced as a competitor to the well-established Kool-Aid by Joe Kraft Dirt. Foods. The product, sweetened with artificial sweetener, came in various flavors and required mixing with water to create a beverage. Oh the name, Funny Face, was inspired by the packaging and advertising crafted by Hall Silverman from the Campbell Mythin Advertising Agency. Each flavor was represented by a cartoon character with a whimsical smile. The initial flavors included Goofy Grape, Root and Tootin Raspberry, Root and Freckle Toot. Face Strawberry, Loudmouth Lime, and Jun Orange, which I'm not going to say the word correctly because it's an actual slur to Native Americans and Chinese cherry. Due to concerns oh. about offensive ethnic stereotypes, the last the two orange. were later oh. renamed to Jolly Ollie Orange and Choo Choo Cherry. The last two may have had offensive names, but holy crap, dude. The commercial itself were even worse. A book, mom. I'm pretty sweetened without sugar. <laughs> and so are my friends. In an orange. Oh. Root and tootin' raspberry. Yahoo! Freckle face strawberry. Hi. Chinese cherry. <laughs> and loudmouth lime. Hello, hello, hello. Look for us at your store. Yeah, back in the day, y'all. Yeah, Way Pillsbury. back in the day. Funny cases for sugary. We're sweet without sugar. So no sugar mess. <laughs> Yeah, the orange had some stereotypical grunts, yeah. but I can't believe they actually used a slur attached to the name of the flavor. That is just wild to me. But the Chinese cherry is just as worse. Chinese of course, we have the cherry. classic stereotypical Asian eyes, but I cannot believe they decided to use the gong bell sound effect whenever the cherry talks. That is just insane. Thailand 2003 commercial. This last racist commercial that I'm going to cover actually has a pretty good message behind it. Basically saying that you shouldn't judge people based on the color of their skin. However, the ending of the commercial does a whole 180. The commercial 
commercial starts off with a girl crying because her balloon got stuck on a light post. A yep. black man then approaches the girl and sees that she's sad. He then decides to climb the light post to retrieve posted. her lost balloon, but right before he's able to, the little girl's mother gets the girl and quickly pulls her away from the man. Oh. The man who seems pretty upset takes the balloon and walks back to his place. When he arrives, you see that there's more balloons in his apartment, meaning that this wasn't the first time he's been racially judged. In all honesty, this commercial has a pretty beautiful message. It shows that you shouldn't judge someone based on the color of their skin. After all, the man was just trying to help a little girl out. However, that wasn't the end of the commercial, and it does a whole 180, which is just horrible. Roll the clip. It had nothing to do with the fucking commercial, dog. Stop. I'm not trying to laugh, bro. Dog. I remember when we checked this shit out, bro. This, this nigga this laid stuff. down on the toothbrush, bro. All the shit they could have thought of, bro. You had to have a nigga come home sad. He got profiled twice, bro. Like, <laughs> the nigga couldn't give a little white girl a balloon because the mom thought, you know, so he come home sad and lay down on his toothbrush bread, bed. And here now you see a black. Oh, come on, bro. Yup. This is Wrong a marketing. toothpaste commercial. That is just wild. I understand the message behind the commercial because they're basically saying, oh, I didn't our toothpaste the is in a different color and you shouldn't judge it because it's not in the traditional white toothpaste color. Like, I understand the message that we're trying to go nah, for, bro, but comparing nah. toothpaste to a black man is crazy, dude. And they just, and yeah, they just ruined the commercial. Like, not gonna lie, the commercial had a good message in the beginning, but when they showed the toothpaste and the man, they just made the commercial racist. Oh, God, <laughs> this, uh, it's just a bad commercial. They were going somewhere, they were cooking, but they just failed. Reason why the toothpaste is black is because this is black herbal toothpaste. The company that made this commercial is called Twin Lotus, which is located in Thailand. I can't find an exact date when this commercial was released since multiple sources tell me matter. a different date, but it was around 2002 to 2004. And that is the end of racist commercials that actually aired on live TV. Yeah, man. That was super wild, bro. Like, yep. I remember so, when we saw that for the first time, bro. I lost it. That shit was wild, bro. Like, <laughs> nah, that shit was uh. It's different times, bro. Different yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, yeah. We evolved. Know. We learned yep. how to uh, be mindful of what may be, mm -hmm. you know, something that. <laughs> <laughs> It's just wild, bro. We just learned how to, to progress. respect each other. Man. That's it. That's to progress and, and at least we're trying to. Yeah, man, that was that was wild. But anywho, if y'all enjoyed the video somehow and you learned something, education is always key. Uh, make sure you run up the likes, comment down below. <laughs> what did you learn? What else you wanted to check out next? Keep on supporting yeah. us, spreading love. Mm -hmm. yeah, you need to do that. Please. Please. Uh, catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Already. This is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.